Hello, everybody. It's Tanil here, your cloth nappy doctor. Wait for some people to come on and find us. So I thought we'd go through the Rumperoos range, some of the stuff we sell at Apicali and some other items, and see why it's so popular. Besides all the prints that they do, and they do a big um, toki, toki doki, probably say that wrong, which I normally do. They do a one size pocket nappy. So this is the Destiny print. This is how it comes to you. So it comes in a nice package. All your information is on the back. Okay, how to use their unique soakers. These are now Paterton. Paterton? Paterton. Paterton. Oh, God. I know. That should fix it. That should fix it. Thanks, Dal. All righty. So, who else has joined us? Let me know. So, it's a one size cover, and I'll make sure I stay inside the um, lovely Christmas border we have here. So, one size cover. Really strong snaps. They're unique to Rumperoos. There we go. Okay, so it's got three size settings. Newborn. It's a bit hard to see on this one. Oh, no, four, right? So one, two, three. And your male's here. Two rows of snap across the front. So you can give a firm fit around the belly. They also come in Velcro, but they're in the plain colours, I believe. Well, they phased out. No, they phased out the Velcro this year, so you can now only get the one size in snaps. It's a pocket. The pocket's at the back of the nappy. The lining isn't a micro fleece or a suede cloth. It's called a micro chamois. It's just a lot more, less likely to peel. It does feel like micro fleece, but a bit thinner than actual micro fleece. Okay, has their patented double gusset as well. Okay, so it acts like a double gusset. Except to, instead of it being connected here, like the seedlings, I suppose, it's a bit further in. It's connected to the pocket. Make sure you can see it. You can see the two lines here. So that's how you get to double gusset. The basic, it is Christmas Eve treaty, isn't it? Hello. So the basic insert is microfiber. You get two inserts, smaller one that's contoured, and a larger one. Now, on the back of this packet, which I thought was quite ingenious, let's see if I can get this. Look at really smart here. They shows you from newborn right up to older bubs which insert, how to use for boys or girls. And that's quite unique to this brand as well. Take some of the guesswork out. It's got three layers of microfiber, but it's not just any microfiber. It's not like what you get in the cheap nappies um, that you see around, which is usually two or three really thin layers, and they're very, very thin. It's thick and it's thirsty. We use these for Nate and Ali, and it was a great day nappy because it was, it was really fabulous. But if you find you have a bub who needs a bit more absorbency or for it to be held, they do sell inserts separately. This one is hemp cotton. Same design as the inserts. So you get the small one and the large one. And what you're going to do is swap them around and use the hemp one with your microfiber one. So if you need a bit of quick sucking action, put the microfiber on top and put your hemp on the bottom. Easy. And then they also do bamboo, and that's thick and thirsty. You can feel that as well. It's very thick. So I'll show you in the pocket. Pockets are nice and big as well, great for Dad's hands. So when we use these, James had no excuse. He had to stack them as well. Okay, it's very stretchy. The elastics are lovely and stretchy. All right, we had no issues with elastics when using them. And with all pockets, make sure the inserts are lovely and flat. We found the snaps really great as well. There we go. That's your big setting. Um, from newborn, they fit around 3.5 to 4 kilos, obviously depending on the size and shape of the bulb. So we found we had good success. Some have noticed a bit of a smaller rise nappy. 
I find this one's pretty average compared to quite a few. Um, baby behinds are a higher rise. Um, uh, and what's a lower rise? Let me think about that one. That's the one size clock nappy, and it's quite Christmassy, yes. Alrighty, moving on. If you have any questions, pop them up. Would get your estrogen pumping usually and going, I've got to have some more babies. I know I do every time I pack one in an order. They're the little joeys from Rumperoos. Right, they're a true all-in-one cloth nappy, which means the absorbency is attached to the shell and it's sewn in. Okay, so they're a snap. They only come in snap. They're tiny. They have the snap down at the front for the umbilical cord. Snaps are really great as well. Okay, they again have the double gusset on the inside. You can see that it there. It's a microfiber and again the micro chamois on the inside. Up to about, I think it's five kilos. They will fit five to six kilos, four to 12 pounds. They are smaller, great on premies. Now, what we hear is they're fabulous at containing newborn poos because of that double gusset. Really absorbent, but they can take a little while to dry because it's a true all-in-one. So if you do have these as a bulk part of your stash for newborn, you will need a few more to allow for that drying time. How much do they cost? They are $40 for two. They are only sold in packs of two, Melissa. Okay, so about $40 for a pack of two. Alrighty, there those. They're super cute and really lovely. Alrighty. What else do we do? Oh, an economical version. If you love Ron Peru's, but a, I've got my um, drop basket down here. Just looking for, there we go. If you like the Rum Peru's, but you find it's a little bit expensive, that's okay. They do a one size cover. And these one size covers are very similar to their nappy. They're one size, great snaps. <laughs> All right, great snaps, two lines of snaps. Oh, really good snaps. Okay, two lines of snaps, front and back elastics. Okay, so give a nice firm fit around the waist and also a double gusset. Okay, you can use the air inserts, not, not the microfiber. All right, so they're hemp or they're bamboo. And what you can do is do it like a pre-fold or a... Perry, just lay it on the inside of the cover. Perfect. Okay, so you can use the contoured insert for a newborn and put the two together for my own bubs up to toilet training. So if you like, if you like Rum Peruse, you love their prints, but the, the actual pocket nappy is a little bit expensive, this is a really great option and great on newborns as well. There you go. There's that one. What else do they do? They do a wet bag. I see you, Amy. I will chat to you. See you, Amy. Are these Aussie made, Jessica asked? No, they're not made in uh, Australia. They're made in China, but they're owned by a US company. Um, they're, it's very tightly controlled, which I like. What would be the main difference between the hemp and the bamboo, Tony asks. Let me chuck that up there. Um, hemp it can be hardier than uh, bamboo, especially for those with acidic wee. Um, bamboo is can be a little temperamental, so we usually recommend hemp for those who have acidic wee. Otherwise, there's really no difference. I found as long as it's a high quality bamboo and a high quality hemp, they usually absorb um, the same. So if you like something that's that's nat really natural, the hemp organic cotton is great. Bamboo, there's always questions about how um, natural that actually is. But you can make that decision. So both, uh, bamboo can also be a bit softer than hemp. Hope that answers your question. Trudy, thanks Trudy. So the this one is $43 for a pack of two, the little joeys. There we go. Thanks, Trudy. 
All right, so they do a wet bag. Okay, what's unique about this wet bag is that it's actually a half moon shape. So they've sewn it at the bottom. So it sits, so instead of just being the usual uh, rectangle or square that you get in most wet bags, it will actually sit in a 3D solid on the floor. And there's pretty pictures. It's nice and actually big. Holds 10 to 12 nappies, what they say. The zip is really sturdy. It's really nice and thick and you can feel that it's really sturdy. Uh, this is my demo one. It's been my demo one for about two or three years now. Um, it gets well handled. A handle does snap on and off, so if you want to hang it off your change table or your pram, well, be careful when your pram, it doesn't tip it over. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it comes undone. And that's the wet bag. Opens up. There we go. Beautiful. The um, PUL on these is called TPU. And I just lost it. It's biodegradable. So you can actually biodegrade the pool. It takes a couple of months in your compost when you're finished, which is pretty cool too. So your whole nappy system can be composted when you're finished. So wear them out until the end of the days and, and compost them. Okay. Wet bag. Pail liners, they do as well. They are a drawstring pail liner. So there's the drawstring. Okay, so if you don't like, some people like a drawstring, some people don't. So there's a drawstring. They're quite big. Stand up. They're quite huge. They're quite a big pail liner. I need to do a video on comparing all the pail liners we sell. Rum Peru's, Baby Bear, Bummies, all of those. So there we go. They're huge. Okay, and their newest product out, which I was so stoked to see, <coughs> excuse me, is their new little little learners. So they're a toilet training pant. Alrighty. The smaller sizes, I'm just going to show you how they come to you in the mail. So they have some nice packaging. The packaging is recyclable, biodegradable. They always make sure their packaging does that so you recycle it. That's how they come. They're sold in packs of two. Sorry, the light's shining on it. So they're sold in packs of two only and set designs. We can't split them up. This is how they come. There are five designs. I'm back. The smaller two designs have snaps on them, okay? So usually at that age, Bub will still do a poo <laughs> in their pants. Okay, when they're just starting out, all right, if they're younger. But that's good because it means you can take them off and it's easier to clean up any sort of poos. Oh, they snaps again. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so if you notice, it looks quite similar to the inside of the little joeys. Okay, so you can see the sewn in layer. It's a couple of layers of microfiber. It has the micro chamois across the middle. It's a nice little... Thing. Now, training pants are designed to catch a little accident. Okay, so you want to look at your absorbency in training pants. Some are designed just to catch a little bit of a dribble. Some can catch a little bit, you know, it's like, oh, I've started going, I better get to the toilet. And then others are designed to actually catch a whole wee. So when you're looking at training pants, find the one for where your child's at in their toilet training stages. Okay, there you go. That's the Run Peru's range. I think it's pretty cool. My dump box is there. Any questions? Oh, I'm going to go Amy show. You. Amy asks, Bub is five months old and it seems like she's outgrown her bear cubs. How can this be? They're on the second tightest snaps, but it feels like the rise is too small. Any advice? Okay, so is Bub a bit of a chubba bubba? Sometimes as Bub, so Bub's around six to nine months, so maybe your Bub's a little bit earlier, they get because they're not moving around a lot, um, they tend to get quite chubby, and then you can start thinking your nappies are get your one size nappies particularly are getting a bit small. They're not unless you do have a larger child. <laughs> All right. So, um, usually, if you unsnap it at the front, oh, my down. So if you're on the second rise setting, maybe you need to have it fully open. 
for a couple of months. That's okay. Doesn't mean they're getting smaller. As long as at four or five months, the nappy sits maybe between the belly button and the bump, top of the bum crack and make sure you're pulling up through the groin and it's still got a nice firm fit, you're fine. Because you're fine when bub is up and moving, you're going to find you probably go down, she's a chubby thighed girl. So you're going to, so you're going to find that they're actually going to, you'll go back down a size setting and that's normal in all in ones. It's not that they're getting smaller. Um, my alley is, he's now five. Um, but he's a little, little five. He would still fit a one size happy because he's that small. Alrighty. So just snap it down, Amy. That's fine. And I swear by the time he's, your bub's one, all that chubbiness will be um, melted away. <laughs> okay. And then you'll go, oh my gosh, my nappies are too big. And then you'll need to go back up a setting. So don't be scared to go up and down the settings. That's okay. As long as you're not overstretching the elastics. Um, my nady was so chubby and he stayed chubby until he was 18 months. He was a chubby Um We actually stretched the elastics out of our baby behind fitted. We had to stretch and stretch and stretch them to make them fit. It got to a point that they would no longer fit him because he was so chubby. Um, yes. I hope that answers your question, Amy. If not, pop another one up. They definitely not won't be too small. You're welcome to pop some pictures um, in the group if you would like, or you can send us an email and we can have a look. Um, that's usually the easiest way to do it. If just send us like, a couple of pictures of around the leg at the back and um, your size settings and where it sits are in relevance to the belly button. Okay. Um, just scrolling through. And Trudy's offered some help. I said she great. I love Trudy. She's wonderful. I'm here in spirit. Daughter wants to walk to see Christmas lights down the road. I would say thanks for all your advice this year, Mary. Oh, my pleasure, Nicole. Enjoy the Christmas lights. Oh, I love this time of year with all the lights. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Now, uh, Melissa asks, were you going to talk about travelling with cloth or was that last month? No, that is this month's topic. I put a couple of blogs up at the start, particularly from Sally who's done it camping and we've had quite a few lovely discussions about it as well and I've given some tips on things you can take. So travelling with cloth, depending on where you're going, uh, if you've got a washing machine or not, I think what you really want to do is keep it simple, really keep it simple. Because travelling with cloth, because you've got so much else going on and you're not in your comfort zone of your washing machine and your detergent and your clothesline, you know where everything is, you tend to go, ah! okay. The idea is to keep it really, really simple. So when whenever I learnt the biggest lessons, we travelled <laughs> to Canberra, which is cold and freezing in the middle of winter, so I decided to take all my baby be baby behinds, bamboo fitteds and covers. It was uh, four weeks to travel around. It was a big move for our family. Worst thing I ever did. <laughs> I loved the nappy, but it took forever to dry. It took up a whole suitcase because I had 36 in my stash. I had two in cloth. It was hard work and it was a time where we had no money. So like a lot of you, you got no money. You're trying to do the best you can with what you got. So... If I knew what I know now, I would have taken pre-folds because um, I discovered they're really well with um, at the end of Daniel and start of Nathan. I would have taken pre-folds. They have a whole lot less room and they're more able to customise your absorbency. So if you're travelling, your option is to take, take a nappy that can be opened out. Now I'm looking around to see if I can find one without disappearing. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Okay, see, when I talk about a nappy that can open out, so you're looking at a flat that can open out and can dry really quickly, okay? The other um, really wonderful part of, why have you done that, of a nappy that opens out is you can fold it any which way you need to. So if some reason bub is sleeping on their back or their front or they're weighing outside, you can fold it to where the absorbency you need the most. So that's the benefit of flats and pre-folds. If you have a nappy, and if you can use your imagination for me, 
like an all-in-one, there is no way you can customize absorbency, okay? And it can be when you come to your washing, you've got to make sure if you don't have enough water or if you have to hand wash for some reason, these are harder to get clean than a nappy that opens up fully. Okay, so covers and flats, and that came through in our talks in the group. Covers, flats, pre-folds are the easiest. You can chuck them in the dryer apart from your covers. Um, and they can take a bit more of a hammering, especially if you're on holidays. I do have these to show you. Go via, go via bio soakers. You have a look. They have a little bit of a sticky back on them. You don't have to use that, all right? I have found this in um, some covers. It does get a bit sticky and gets get stuck on there. Um, it could be because of um, the humidity of where I live. It's got a waterproof backing, all right? They can go in any cover. It doesn't have to be the Grovi covers. They can go in any cover. I've used them in close baby behinds. All of them. All right. Now it has a lot. It has a bit of a gusset on the side here. So good for newborn poos if you have a little newborn. So it's, it's like a disposable nappy without all the extra bits. All right. It does have quite a bit of extra material around the edges. You can fold it over if you find it's too long on your setting. You can just fold it behind and place the fold towards the back. All right. Because if you have a boy, so there's the fold, and they do their wees here. It's going to leak down the front here and you might get some leakage out the top. Okay, so they're wonderful. We found the best ones to be the Grow Buy because they do have the waterproof backing, which gives you another layer of um, protection when you're out and about, especially if you're hiking or camping. Uh, the only bits not biodegradable in these is the elastics that you find here and here and the backing as well. So you can pull everything off and put that down in the bin. Okay, I'll put it in a, a little bag as you go. Also to travel, really good wet bag. Don't skimp on the wet bag. Really don't skimp on the wet bag. Um, we've had a few people say when they travel on a plane, they use a big um, nappy, a pail liner, and then twist it um, like a garbage bag. They twist it and then fold it over. Um, is one option. That was a few years ago, but now you've got um, zipper ones. So Baby Bear do the zippers. So uh, Planet Wise do the two pocket, and I know Baby Behinds does a big one now. So there's such a range of wet bags. Uh, it can make life a whole lot easier. Okay, so Melissa, I hope that answers your question. If not, pop another one up. Let me have a look what you have to say. Hello, I'm Holly Routine from a particular Facebook group that recommends. Yeah, that's fine. So you read detergent, short rinse, and then a long wash. I use EcoStore powder and front loader, and just been recommend that the only way to get a full clean store of hot is to wash my nappies. Okay, so 60 degrees, most brands are, and I'll take that down so you see my lovely face. <laughs> um, so 60 degrees, uh, most brands will say that's the maximum you can do. Peapods came out with 40 degrees as their maximum. There's another one that came out with 40 degrees. I used to wash on cold all the time. Um, Eco Store. We get mixed res responses to Eco Store. I use Eco Store not with much success. Um, although other brands recommend it as their choice of detergent, um, give it a go. If you're finding the detergent's not working for you, find another one. Do another one that um, fits with your ethos, okay, and your budget. Just make sure it, you're not buying something that's cheap and full of fillers. That's just some of the, um, what some of the companies do is they put all the fillers in. <sighs> okay. Um, and I just, I'm just reading, Trudy has responses, responded with, yes, I agree, Trudy. Hot temps um, can void warranties. So if your nappies are out of warranty, 
do as you please, set them on fire, do as you please. Um, while they're in warranty, it's really good to um, do as the manufacturers ask. If you have any questions, ask the manufacturers. They're, they're there to help you. They really are. Um, or you can ask us and we'll ask them. We don't mind doing that. Um, so I would recommend, I'm just making sure you haven't said anything else, Jennifer. just want to make sure. All right, so a hotter wash, um, so you can stick with um, 40 degrees. Maybe look at a good pre-rinse and a normal wash cycle. The, what you're looking for with any wash washing routine is agitation. Okay, so I usually do a little dance when I'm at exposed. <laughs> All right, is agitation. So I think um, I've heard the term nappy stew. It's a new one. It's quite good. Okay, so you're looking, you don't want your nappies just floating in water. Okay, you want them to rub up against one another. Okay, so they're going to be rubbing and like your clothes and working, the fibres are moving and you're going to get all the yuckies out. You also need enough water. So if you overstuff your machine, nothing's going to move. Okay, you might have a full load. And the water but you're not going to have enough water because it's overstuffed if you have a say if you have a medium a, a halfway load and you only put a low level of water in it's not enough water to make it all you've got to remember you've got your we and poo you've got to get water through to dilute it okay um and a good detergent a good washing powder one that you like one that works for you one that's good for the brands that you've chosen most are pretty good now. They're not very specific on their actual uh, washing powder. Um, just stay away from your fabric softeners because they repel water. Stay away from your uh, the fillers. And I've forgotten it. Enzymes. Oh, that depends on the brand of nappy. Depends on the brand of nappy. All right. So you want to just check with your um, brand that you're using that the enzymes in that washing powder are fine. Some brands don't care. Some brands are a little bit, mm, yeah, we don't really want those ones. We want these ones, okay? But because now people have uh, a lot of different nappies in their stashes, they're starting to relax, which is great. I forgot, fabric soft, oh, bleach. That's what's the other one, bleach. You don't need bleach, okay? You don't need bleach in your wash, all right? Um, if your nappy's got a stain on it, that's okay. As long as there's no chunky bits on it or it doesn't come off, <laughs> that's okay. Especially with Panadol stains or Spag Bowl or if you gave your kid a curry. Um, breastfed milk in the sun's good. If you haven't got that, it's okay. As long as they're clean. you can. If they smell clean, you're okay. All right? If they smell whiffy when they come out of the machine, chuck them back in and do it again. If they go on the line and they come in and they smell, Chuck them back in and do it again, okay? Okay, Rohini, I hope I've said your name right. I practice it every time an order comes through and I'm sure I get it wrong. What nappy balm or cream is okay to use with MCN so they aren't left with residue that won't clean off? All right, so you can use anything that's basically natural. So good old CJ's, CJ's. Nature's Child is a good one. So we stock the ones we've had great success with. Okay, you only need a thin layer. Okay, that's where these are okay. So it's only a thin layer that goes on. And then when you put them in the wash, it will come off. If for some reason Bob has a bad rash and you need to put a big thick layer on, use a liner. All right, they're only designed to put a nice thin layer on, okay, just to prevent nappy rash and that barrier between wheeze and poos and their skin. Thin layer and then it will come off in the wash. All right, but if you're using a big thick layer, as I've had to do this week with Abigail, I've had to use liners. Okay, so there you go. So any of the natural ones, um, the the jelly, oh, pawpaw jelly in the red tube has been said to be okay. Some use coconut oil. Just make sure it's thin, um, and um. Not all clo um, like cold. <laughs> we had one customer do it from the fridge. <laughs> it was all solidified. It was quite great. Um, yes, little barn powder. Thank you, Trudy. Where is it? There it is. 
This one's great if there's no open sores or the rash isn't weeping or any open skin. Okay. This one's great. It keeps it nice and dry. Thank you. So, um, sorry, guys. Hang on. Just give me. Uh, Abby's just calling out. And being mum, you just take a moment to listen, make sure everything's all right. And she's fine. James is here. All right. Yeah, let me get back on track. So uh, powders are great, um, especially in summer um, with sweat, um, which can cause um, uh, rashes and is quite um, uncomfortable for bubs. So it can help absorb the sweat around baby. So if you're not getting much success with a, a balm or a cream, try a powder. Okay, this one's all natural. This one's fabulous. I use this one myself in um, summer. Um, if you need to use a zinc cream or something that's really thick, that's okay. That's fine. Um, use a double line, um, your liners, um, or use a micro fleece liner um, to make sure it doesn't get on the nappy. Cause you can get, if you do have anything in there, insert. If you do get any in there, usually a little bit of soap and a little bit of rubbing will get it out. Okay, you just need to dissolve it. So it's not going to ruin your nappies. It's just going to make you more work. Who needs that? All right. I hope that helps. Rohini, and I hope I said that right. Jessica says, I'm using reusable wipes. What about solutions that are nappy friendly? Um, so Jessica, you can, um, if you need something extra in there, uh, some people put a few drops of, uh, baby shampoo in there. I've done that. That can sometimes help if, if the poos are a bit sticky. Um, you can also do, um, I'll be back. It's carcass, CJ's carcass cleaner. You dilute it into a spray bottle and becomes a foaming. I've used that for Abigail to help wipe off sticky ones. Um, we would add even when no money, we'd add a little just soap <laughs> or a little bit of shampoo, what we were using, and mix it up. That You can do that. Um, look, if your wipes have got a bit of a terry on them, that's really good because that can help um, get the poo off. Um, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, essential oils are good at soothing skin, not necessarily um, giving it a really good, um, like, soap clean if the poo's a bit stuck. So you've got a bub who, um, every time they feed, um, do a little fluffy, and you don't know that something came out until the next change because the nappy's not wet. That can help. So a little bit of a, a little bit, bit of just. Um, Baby shampoo soap in there, just a couple of drops because it's usually very concentrated. Okay, Merry Christmas, everybody! I won't see you until in, in January. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year! Thank you for a fabulous 2016. It's been absolutely amazing. We've um, grown up, um, and we keep growing up, which is all about. I keep learning new stuff all the time. Merry Christmas, everyone!